Caramel cake has been a part of the South since we started making layer cakes right after the Civil War. If there is a gathering anywhere below the Mason-Dixon, I'd be willing to bet there will be a caramel cake on the table. This cake takes a lot of patience to make, and there's usually a couple or three people in every community that are the prime caramel cake makers. Recipes for caramel cakes are passed on handwritten recipe cards through the generations. Usually, older generations will spend time in the kitchen with younger generations to pass on their little secret about making these very special cakes. Two hundred and thirty-eight degrees is that magic sweet spot called softball stage in sugar cooking because it takes the sugar from a granular state to a softball state, meaning that if you were to pick up some of that sugar whenever it was exactly two hundred and thirty-eight degrees and place it in a bowl of really cold water, the sugar would be a very soft and pliable ball. If you were to cook it any longer than that or hotter than that, the sugar would actually become harder and at that point you would have to start from scratch. Southern Living first published a caramel cake in their December 1971 issue, five years after our first issue was published in February 1966. And for me, I think it was five years too long. Mm -hmm. 